Hey guys, it's Fonzie with Dip Your Car, and we have an interesting video for you today. Now, once in a while, there'll be a concept that floats around social media, and you guys will collectively think it's an idea that we've got to try with Plasti Dip. It happened about a year ago with that pendulum painting idea that we did, and it's happened again. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the concept of liquid masking. It's been all over TikTok and Instagram. It's the idea of using liquid soap while painting to mask off a bunch of crazy designs and then get this really cool effect. We've never tried it with Plasti Dip. This is gonna be one of those rare times where we go straight to full scale on a whole car. Today we're gonna to find out if you can use liquid masking with Plasti Dip. Enjoy the video. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through exactly what we've got planned for this project. Now, full disclaimer up front, we have no idea what we're doing. We're not even exactly sure how we're going to do it. So. We're just testing the concept of whether or not you can use liquid masking with Plasti Dip. So before you critique the design, just understand the fact that we're having fun and we're trying it out. With that said, we still wanna do something cool. So first things first, we need the liquid soap. Now, we've seen people use Dawn dish soap. We don't have a ton of Dawn dish soap on hand, but we do have dip wash. Dip wash has a bunch of different ingredients in it that should be similar. Now. Dip wash on its own is a little bit runny, so what I had my guy make is this right here. The Fonzie Thick version of dip wash, which should help the soap actually set up and hold a little bit better so that it doesn't run as much. What we don't want to have happen is the soap run and spread all over the car. We want it to try to stick together. So what we're thinking about doing is taking the soap and pouring it maybe down the line of the car, letting it run down the car, put it in the middle, maybe a spiral pattern or something, and let the soap run down around, because essentially what we have here is ZTN Hypershift. What we're putting on top of that is black Plasti Dip. The concept, of course, is to put the soap in all different designs over the ZTN Hypershift, spray the black Plasti Dip on top, cover the whole car, then the cool part is we get to take it outside, wash off all the soap, and theoretically, the Plasti Dip will not have stuck to the car where the soap is. The black should wash off where the soap was, leaving the ZTN Hypershift design underneath. Right? I don't know. We're gonna do it, so let's go.
All right, guys, we are all done with the project. And the question that we came here to answer today, can you use the liquid masking concept with PlastiDip? Let me provide you a complicated answer. Yes, you can. But here's the challenge. Paint, traditionally, is very thin and very rigid. PlastiDip is thicker and softer. So when the PlastiDip, the top color, goes over the soap design, you have a very limited amount of time before that plastic dip starts to actually bridge itself over the soap and create almost like a film. And you probably saw that outside in our shots when we were trying to power wash off the black over the soap, there was some residual left. Now granted, it cleaned up very easily with the microfiber, but with paint, I think that clears off very quickly and very cleanly. With plastic dip, it's a little bit more difficult. So if you're gonna use the um, liquid masking technique with plastic dip, small scale, like wheels, things like that, probably super easy because you can go straight from spraying your black or your top color to washing off the soap right away. With a whole car, it's a lot more difficult because chances are you're not gonna be able to hose down the car in the same area that you sprayed it in. With that said, this project was a ton of fun. I love the way this thing came out. It looks super cool. We're gonna go outside right now to check it out. If you wanna dip your own car, we have a ton of colors and kits to choose from. Click right up here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you think it came out. It's Fonzie. I'll see you guys on the next video. and then use that liquid soap masking to create really cool designs and effects. Now, we've never tried this with Plasti Dip. This is gonna be one of those rare times where we go straight to full scale. Apparently, it's pretty cool. Now, whatever, dude, I have no idea what I'm talking about.